And we're following another breaking story. There is new information in the search for a cargo ship that disappeared in Hurricane Joaquin. The ship, which frequently docks here in Baltimore, was carrying 33 people, including at least one crew member from Baltimore. Jamie Ucas reports for WJZ on the massive Coast Guard operation to find that ship. The U.S. Coast Guard says it knows what happened to the cargo right. ship El Faro, which was last heard from off the Bahamas last week during Hurricane Joaquin. We believe it sank in, in the last known position that we recorded on Thursday. The 790-foot vessel packed with containers set out last Tuesday for San Juan from Jacksonville, Florida. At that point, Joaquin was still a tropical storm, but its intensity grew quickly. And on Thursday at 7.20 a.m., the ship radioed a distress call from near the eye of the powerful Category 4 hurricane. At that time, he indicated that uh, the vessel was, the main propulsion of the vessel was uh, disabled. One of the ship's life rings was found Saturday, and on Sunday, search crews found several of the ship's 46 survival suits floating in a debris field. We did identify human remains in one of the survival suits. Uh, we lowered a rescue swimmer to confirm uh, that the person was deceased and it was basically unidentifiable. Family of those on board the Pharaoh are clinging to hope. Danielle Rudolph is a crew member. She emailed her mother last week. There is a hurricane out here, and we are heading straight into it, Category 3. Last we checked, winds are super bad and seas are not great. Love to everyone. The Coast Guard says it's no longer looking for the ship and is focusing on finding survivors. Jamie Yukas, WJZ Eyewitness News. One of the women CBS News spoke with is married to a man who grew up in Baltimore County and was on that cargo ship. His name is Frank Ham, and one of his relatives says that his family is waiting for news and, of course, hoping for all the best.